All right, so next we're going to talk about edit tool axis vectors for B-axis contour enhancements. And the very first thing I want to do is just kind of look at some parameters here. Um, under our motion control, or the basic motion control, you can see our automatic and our manual settings, which is what we previously had with Mastercam 2023. In 2024, we now have a modify group. Let's take a look at this modify group or this modify selection feature that we have. And we can now see the vectors that we have for each one of these. Notice there's a nice little dial for each one so we can just manually tweak them as we go. And if you click on one of these and hold down shift, you can actually see your tool. And you can toggle your tool on and off by holding down or pressing shift on your keyboard anyways. So I want to back out of here and actually look at what this toolpath looks like whenever we just back plot it, just your automatic settings for your tool axis control. As the tool comes down, we approach it, and so far everything looks clean until we get to this point. We can see that the insert is laying pretty flat. We really don't have any clearance for the back side of that insert or the holder alone. And I want to make adjustments to that so that we tilt away from the back side of that insert. Let's go back to our basic motion control. We're going to select manual. We're going to start adjusting some vectors. For this one, we'll tilt it up to somewhere about there, uh, you know, let's go ahead and put 55 in there. Type, make this easy. And I want to add a vector because as we go around this radius, it's going to morph between one to the next. And we could do so by double clicking on that radius to add another vector. And negative 25 actually looks good. Let's pull this one away. And this is actually a really nice feature. Whenever my geometry turns red, you can see that our tool is actually colliding. That's really nice. So we're going to actually pull away, and I'll keep this one for negative 25 as well. And then we can green check OK, of course, after we hit Enter. And next, we'll have to regenerate this toolpath. And we'll give it a moment, let our toolpath generate here. There we go. Now, the next thing I want to do is back plot this particular toolpath. I want to see the adjustments that we made over this contour and how they're affecting our tool and holder for this ID. So let's go over to our back plot section and we'll press play on this one. We see our approach. Everything looks good. And notice as we go around the back side, our tilt. What you also see is the holder clearance that we have here now compared to what we previously had. And of course, the full retract of our tool. 